Production funding for this program has been made possible by a grant from the Kern County Water Agency Improvement District No. 4, financed under the Safe Drinking Water, Water Quality and Supply, Flood Control, River and Coastal Protection Bond Act of 2006, Proposition 84, and administered by the California State Department of Water Resources. Today we're at the Henry C. Garnett Water Purification Plant in Bakersfield, and today I've got a couple of partners with me. I'm John Soper from Garces Memorial High School. I'm Olivia Belda from Centennial High School, and John and I are part of the Dream Builders in Ford Dimension program at the Jim Berg Ford Education Foundation. And it is time now to go with the flow on this edition of Do the Science. Here at the water purification plant, we might as well start at the beginning with the head man himself. Dave Beard, how are you today? Good. How are you? Good. Nice to see you. What is your official title with the purification plant? I am Improvement District Number 4 Manager. Improvement District Number 4 has a number of functions, but our primary mission with the district is to provide a supplemental water supply for the urban Bakersfield area. And one of the primary ways we do that is to take untreated surface water, or we'll call it raw water, and bring it to the uh, Henry C. Garnett water purification plant for treatment and delivery as, as drinking water to customers within the urban Bakersfield area. Okay. Dave, I'm interested, how'd you get into that field? So for undergrad, I, I graduated with a degree in economics and then I went to graduate school and, and got a degree in environmental science and management. And, but that environmental science degree also had a specialization in water resources management and then the Kern County Water Agency had an opening with improvement district number four and that's how I got here. Well, we're at the very beginning of everything, and we know how you guys started in your role here. Mm -hmm. This is the equalization pond. Yes. What is going on here? Okay. Well, behind us uh, is the temperature equalization pond, and it does have a few functions. One of the primary functions is to allow an initial settling. So when we do bring the untreated or the raw water in, you know, if there's any large particles that'll just settle out via gravity, that's one of the functions of that. We like to try to keep the temperature of the water constant or equalized. So if we do switch sources, that, that'll prevent potentially uh, damage to your facilities or infrastructure. We are unique here where we can treat water from four different sources. Uh, we are a state water project contractor. So if we are treating that water, that water actually comes from the Sacramento and San Joaquin Delta. We also are able to exchange water with Kern River interests and treat Kern River water. We can treat groundwater and we can also treat water off Central Valley Project Frank Kern Division. So we've got a lot of spots that the water comes from. A beautiful spot you've got out mm -hmm. here, a lovely place to work, tranquil. You must just like to come and hang out every once in a while. <laughs> exactly. But that is also one of the things we have to look out for is people do want to come and hang out at the pond. This is actually part of our water treatment process, so we can't really have any unauthorized folks kind of hanging out or fishing or even swimming in the pond. Well, we won't hang out too much. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We know where the water comes from. Let's go check out where it's going to. Okay, let's go. Well, Dave, we saw where the water came from, and there's a lovely buzz in the air, so we know things are working right now. Right. right now, we're in the raw water pump station. What exactly is going on in back of us? Well, with the raw water pump station, we need to have a way to physically move the water from the temperature equalization pond to the purification plant. And so this is the facility that was uh, constructed to do that. And how many pumps do you have in here? Uh, presently, we have four pumps. Most cases, they don't all operate at once. So it does provide us a nice measure of redundancy should we have one go down due to mechanical or electrical issues. But typically you have two, maybe three operating at one time. Dave, we have a lot of water out there, a lot of pumps in here. Exactly how much water is going through this facility? Well, that is a good question. It really depends on the time of year that you're in. If you're in the winter time, kind of the cooler months, you know, you'll see flows as low as 14 million gallons per day. But then if you get into the summer or the higher demand, the peak months, uh, you can see flows up to 80 to 90 million gallons per day. Put that in perspective for us. That's a, that's a lot of water, a lot of gallons. Exactly how do people in the industry measure how much water is transferred and how much it we is. get in our homes? 
It is. One, we do speak a lot about million gallons of water here, but then we also speak about water in terms of acre feet. One acre foot is the equivalent of almost 326,000 gallons, and that typically is enough to serve a family in the Central Valley for a year. If you're more of a visual person instead of a numbers person, you visualize a football field with water on top of it that is one foot deep, and that's as much water as a typical household uses in a year. Sure. So we know how much water is being pumped through here, and this is all of the water from the equalization pond. Yes. Now that you've got the water in here, how many different places will it go from here? Well, from here, it will go to the purification plant for treatment. There's a number of treatment steps that we go through at the plant. But then from there, after the water has been treated to uh, drinking water standards, it'll go to one of four customers that, of the Kern County Water Agency Improvement District Number 4. And that will actually serve most portions of urban Bakersfield, to the east, to the north, and to the northwest. All right, so you're covering a lot of area, and let's go find out now where it's being chemically treated. Sounds good. All right, let's go. And for a molecule of water to start here at the flash mix and get through the treatment plant, at the low flows, it would take about five hours. And at the higher flows, about 50 million gallons a day, it would only take about two hours.